how's it going? How is everybody doing? I know it's kind of dark right now. It's like after 8 o'clock at night. Well, yeah, 8.45 at night. I, I thought it would be a little bit, you know, more light in here. But, yeah, I guess I'm not making a video at the right time. But anyways, so I made a video last week called Thin People Issues Part 1. Which originally, originally, my, you know, slight speech impediments working in there. <laughs> originally, it was just going to be one video. But after I made it, I realized I left, you know, a few more stuff out. So this is the Thin People Issues Part 2. I am not condoning being thin in any way, shape, or form. This is not a video about how to become thin, how to lose weight. You know, I have a small figure. I'm not telling anybody to be thin. This is just simply me putting in some humor about what us thin people who have a high metabolism and difficulty gaining weight go through. In my uh, previous video, I mentioned about how people... You know, people like me have people, you know, other people tell us, you know, if you eat more or do you ever eat or they want to make us food or they call us names like skinny ass or maybe anorexic and stuff like that. So the stuff I left out, I'm, you know, it's just a few more things I'm going to mention. And this is just to try and make people laugh and also let them realize not everybody is, you know, like a, a size four or size 10. Some of us struggle to gain any amount of weight at all and like for me I finally went from a size zero to a size two and it was awesome because it took me years literally years to try to gain that much weight I mean I know some people are like that much weight really that's like just going up a size well t I mean it's like genetically I have great difficulty gaining weight any amount I can gain is really awesome and I know other people like me, who are t small like, you know, me, my size and everything, they'll be like, yeah, I know, it is really difficult to gain weight. And thing is, any amount we can gain, whether it's an ounce, you know, a pound, two pounds, which is really difficult, it, it's hard. So I was able to finally gain 100 pounds. I've been trying to gain weight, you know, doing whatever I could to gain weight, finally weighed 100 pounds, and I'm doing my absolute best to stay at that weight. I eat like a pig eat all the time. <laughs> I think about food all the time. It's really probably not healthy how much I think about food. I mean, I eat even when I'm not hungry, but I try to balance it out, you know, healthy versus junk foods. So I, I do try to balance it out and, you know, be nice and healthy. But it's like for us, when we finally gain weight, sometimes people can tell that, you know, maybe we're happier because it's, it's a huge, it's like a milestone for us. You know, finally I gained, you know, some more weight. And, you know, people are like, wow, you're so small, you know, and what size are you? And it's like, actually, I'm no size two. It's like, well, I can tell you're happier. That's because you gained weight, I guess. It's like, yeah, I'm a size two now. You said you're a size what? A size two. Girl, I weighed size two when I was in high school. I'm a size 12, okay? Size two. Pfft, go eat. It's like, let us be happy. Even if, you know, just the fake a smile for us. It's like, oh, yeah, that's great. Size two. <laughs> Please, I haven't weighed that in like 10 years. It, it's, it's a major accomplishment for us, you know? Or it, it's like when you finally reach that weight goal, like I'm, I'm my weight goal is to weigh 100 pounds. I really want to weigh 100 pounds, you know? Just fight as much as you can just to, to gain that much. And when, you know, you finally tell people, you know, it comes up conversation. It's like, yeah, or they're like, you're really small. How much do you weigh? Like 70 pounds, 80 pounds? If I weighed 80 pounds, I would be anorexic. No offense to anybody, you know, whatsoever. But seriously, people, they always go way down when they try to get your weight, which is, I don't understand that. It's like, I probably can't tell, but yeah, I mean, this shirt's kind of tight, but yeah. I don't weigh 80 pounds. I did years ago, like probably when I was in like middle school or, yeah, probably like in middle school or high school, but it's like, I weigh 100 pounds now. And they go, I weighed 100 pounds. When I was like 15 or 14, please, 100 pounds, Pff, skinny ass. <laughs> it's like, okay, just, just just try and be happy for us. Even if you're just faking it, be happy. And also in cold climates, I get cold easily. I don't, I mean, I, I have a little bit of meat on my bones, but for those of us who are naturally thin, we don't have a whole lot of insulation, you know, we tend to get cold easily, especially me. Like 60 degrees outside, you're cold, you have jacket on, you're like, ooh. It's cold out here and you'll have, you know, a bigger person built, you know, bigger person in like t-shirt, jeans or shorts or whatever. Cold? 
this ain't cold. It's like up north it's cold. It feels good out here. You, you just need to put some meat on your bones. Just get some more insulation. You know, how do you stay, you know, how do you stay healthy at that weight? Are you even healthy? How do you even stay warm at that weight? It's like, I can't help it. <laughs> I try my hardest to gain weight, dude, okay? 60 degrees to me is pretty chilly, okay? And I'm not from, you know, up north. I'm originally actually from south Texas area where, you know, it really doesn't get cold. It might get cold. But, you know, warm a lot. Well, yeah, it's it's like, okay, bigger people out there, we try our hardest to gain weight. It's not easy. You know, people, and especially if, if you're working somewhere and they have a new work uniform and the smallest size they have is like a nightgown, you know, it's it's like a t-shirt and the sleeve goes down to like here on you and tucking it in, it's like trying to tuck in a nightgown. I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, I do it the same thing. You know, and it's like, oh, I try and tuck it in. Even when you go home, wash it. Hot water, you know, you wash it, you dry it, you try to shrink it, and it doesn't work that well. And, you know, people around you are like, well, just drink a protein shake. You know, get, gain some weight on you. You know, put some meat on your bones. You know, just, just spend a week with me and I'll get you fat. It's like, it's a struggle. Because this world is meant, is not meant for small people. It's a struggle just for me to try to find undergarments that fits. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm able to find jeans my size, which is good. And t-shirts, it is actually kind of a struggle because the majority of the time small size is like a small or a medium. And I wear extra small t-shirts. So that's also a struggle. Trying to find clothes or underwear that fits. That's not easy whatsoever. I have to shop in the junior section still. I'm going to be 28 in like March, April, May, June, July, August. About five months, I'll be 28 years old. I still shop in a junior section. My mom told me you need to shop in a women's section because you're old enough. You know, I mean, I've been of the age to shop, to shop women's. I'm too small to shop women's. You know, I go women's size. Oh, wow, a size two. Somebody goes, little girl, your size is over there in the juniors. It's like, first of all, I ain't no little girl. Thank you. Fair enough. But yeah, I still shop in the juniors, which, nothing wrong with that. I mean, you gotta buy clothes where you can find them, you know? So, I, I do try to do that. You know, I have a lot of t-shirts. You know, I was able to, you know, buy a good amount of jeans and stuff. You know, and I'm stocked up on all that. So, that's good. When you can find your size in, you know, t-shirts or jeans or even underwear or bras or, you know, socks especially. You try to stock up all you can. You know, because who knows when they're going to stock up on that or they're going to have that size again. You go to like Spencer's or Hot Topic to go shopping and the small size they have is a medium. And it's like a boyfriend shirt on you. It's big. Or a small. Even a small is too big. And you try and look for extra small. Which you can hardly ever find. I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's just, you know, there's just... I mean, it's like, I know bigger people can also have a hard time pr probably finding clothes. But, you know, small people like myself can even have a bigger time finding clothes. Because it, it's not easy. It's like a scavenger hunt. Okay, where is the... Um, and yes, I'm a very small cup size as well, so that also doesn't help. It's like, okay, go shopping for bras. Okay. Oh, here I am, junior section. And there's princesses on this one. There's frogs on this one. New Beauty and the Beast. Polka dots, neon colors. It's like, can we just have some mature looking junior bras? Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> 34A. <laughs> But yeah, that's just some of the, you know, other things that we deal with as well. So this is Thin People Issues Part 2, and I'll try to make another video, trying to come up with some ideas. So I'm still new to this whole thing. This, you know, it's not going to be a perfect video. I'm still starting out, still trying to come up with ideas. But, you know, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, awesome. Or if you have any opinions, let me know. But I'm going to try to, you know, bring humor and, you know, funny daily struggles. I'm, I want to try to make people laugh, you know. So I want to try to make these videos to raise awareness for stuff and also to make people laugh. So, yeah, just hopefully I get a chance to make these. Because, I mean, I'm just trying my best here. You know, I'm starting out not a YouTube guru or anything, you know. But, yeah, I just mostly want to make people laugh. So, yeah. See y'all later. Hope y'all have an awesome day.